You're kidding me. That's how Naughty evolved? What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to Pokemon Gaia. So recently an update came out for Pokemon Gaia which required me to play through the game entirely again. And throughout playing, I noticed that the story is actually slightly modified. It's slightly different. The first gym leader is located somewhere else, and there's a new first gym leader, and I want you guys to forget all of that. So just very quickly, just so you don't get confused, or if this is your first episode of Pokemon Gaia, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what the story of Pokemon Gaia is. So a very long time ago, there was this group of people that populated this region, and if you notice, it's a very rocky region. It's called the Orbtus region. They created several monuments to their gods and guardians, but over time, these monuments have been wiped out by these odd earthquakes, and and very little of them remain today as relics of the past. For example, this tablet which is near the starting city. And apparently when you bring these respective Pokemon to these tablets, something odd happens. If I were to guess, their temple probably opens up, the original temple that was wiped out. So that's the gist of the game. These earthquakes still take place today, and they're like these odd earthquakes that make no sense how they're occurring, but we do know that they're occurring from beneath these tablets. Just to add a little more, in the coming episodes, you'll meet the evil organization, and they're called the New Elders, and it seems like they're trying to take control of this region. And that is all you need to know. So right now, we're going to Saros Village to get our first gym badge, so... Enjoy the series. So that's pretty much it. We're this random guy who's traveling and following recent earthquakes and trying to figure out what this entire mystery is because we do see plates and we need to know what these plates are for. So what we need to do is fight the gym leader right here. It's a, it's a new gym right here. It's a freaking fairy gym. Fernando, best name, Tornado and Fernando. And each time you try going this way, Nardo just knows you're going and he, he's like looking out the window. Watch this. Hey, Nardo. Hey, no, go. I said, don't go. How dare you disobey? Like, he's so annoying. Freaking Nardo. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. I do have my team. I'm going to do a bit of training. This is our team where we last left off before the dream. And uh, let me train and I'll be right back. I don't know why Beryl is so strong. Naughty's supposed to be the cool one. But we're going to lead with Naughty and we're going to take on this gym. So it's a fairy type user, meaning that it's scurry. God, that's really scary. I'm really interested in knowing whether this guy's gonna know something on the earthquakes. Because I know, obviously, it has something to do with Regigigas. But obviously, there's a lot more to it. Like, what are these ancient Pokemon on the tablets? Like, what happens when you bring a Pokemon to a tablet? Alright. It is a fairy-type gym. So, I think I'm gonna go with Garp. You know, I would love to use Naughty. And be a bit naughty, but I guess not. Hey there, you're new to the gym! Well, I'm the guy with glasses. Fernando, also the grandson of the daycare man. The old leader? The daycare man? Get out of here. Stop it. What are you doing? You're the old leader? I'm the old leader. Well, that so sums it up. Is there a chance he bought up there? Who did that? Goddamn old leaders. It's freaking pervy sage. Okay, I get, th I get this. It's like the lost cave. It's in the theme of the daycare. Put a Pokemon in the daycare, and then choose a direction. I'm gonna choose right. Look at that! Infinite experience! Alright, you know what, let's just fight. Garp's in the front. Do I have any more pickup trucks? I don't. God damn it, Ziggy. Don't be fooled by the trees! We use Fairy-type Pokemon here! That's great. That's really it's awesome news. And don't give a damn. You look nothing like you did in the overworld. What is that? It looks like a... It's like a Snorlax cookie. I don't know. It, it, it really looks like a baby Snorlax. It's a baby Naughty. What's in the theme of babies here? Just die. Everyone die. Your water attacks can't do anything. Oh, Splash. I don't even think Splash is a water attack, is it? Because Splash is like Hop or something. Hop. I think it is Hop. It's Hop in Japanese or something. I don't know. Not Hop in Japanese, but it means Hop in Japanese. You beat me. Good luck not getting lost. Yeah, shut up. So... Is there some sort of pattern? I think in the Lost Cave, the amount of trees pointed to the direction. So if there's one, two, three, then you go north, east, south, west. I don't know. Never eat shredded wheat. Just don't do it. We're going left. Oh, God. This is why you don't eat wheat. We did it. Okay. There's three. There's three again. You're telling me I don't have to fight all these trainers? Am I just guessing? Oh, you have to beat them, or I guess, or else it doesn't make any progress. Yeah, you have to beat them. 
Freaking cheat codes, how did you do it? Oh, I can easily kill you. Die. Die. And die. Die. What you doing? Oh, Garp's evolving! Why does Garp evolve at level 14? It's not as good as the Shmurda dance. Bad, bad, bad idea. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm a Vigorot. Your Garp evolved into Monferno. Garp is trying to learn Mock Punch. Alright, we're gonna get rid of Leer. No, we're gonna get rid of Scratch. Screw Scratch. Screw your Scratches. I don't think I've ever found the room where Fernando is. Lies. Okay, we're gonna use reverse psychology. You would think this is the exit. But it's not! <laughs> wow. Another little girl. Well, I have a Monferno now, so you better not mess with me. I'm gonna put Naughty in the front. Naughty deserves some. Give Naughty some. Give Naughty some. Some say fairy type Pokemon get their power from the moon. Oh, that's cool! Because Cle Clefairy's from the moon. Why is Clefairy from the moon? I understand that. The Dene. Wait, so all fairy Pokemon are from the moon, possibly? That's why Clefairy's from the moon? I don't know. Y'all need to die, though. Don't... Are you serious? I slapped you like seven times. Can you not fall in love with the freaking con candy? Stop! Oh my god, Naughty. It's exactly what you would expect from Naughty. Just die. I should have done this. Like, why is Snubble a fairy? Moves like Moonblast and Moonlight are fairy type. Moonlight's a fairy type too? I don't know that. Thanks, good guy Sam. Let's put Barrel now. I don't know why Barrel. Give everyone equal opportunities. I've got the strongest bound in my Pokemon. Unless you have a Mega Evolution. There are Mega Evolutions in this game. I really want to get to it. It's the freaking Snorlax cookie. Hanako. That's great. Wow, that Spritzy looks really 3D. I don't know why. Would you like some bubbles? Let's blow some bubbles. You identified me as a barrel. Now shut up. Don't hit yourself. Good. Oh, now it's more cotton candy. Cotton candy's cursed! Cotton candy's cursed. God damn it. Just die. Everyone die. Stupid Hanako. The love you show your Pokemon affects your ability in battle. Great. One, two, three, four. I have to go down again. It worked! I'm a genius! Holy crap, I mean, it's a Pokemon game. There's not much genius in it. So you're, you're Fernando. You're the guy with the weird hair. Gosh, oh, pickup truck. I don't know if I should heal up because I don't know how I got here. Moonstone? Wait a minute. You're kidding me, that's how Naughty evolves? I need to look up what moves Naughty learns before I evolve it. That's crazy. Sorry, weird hairdo dude, I gotta go. I'll be back soon. What the hell are you doing here? Damn, well, I heard that there's definitely a second entrance somewhere in the village. You're the freaking professor. You're sitting here having a Tim Hortons coffee. That's not cool. Whoa! Wait, how does going down bring me up? Lies. These are all lies. Are there no secrets here? All right. What up, Fernando? How's it going? <clears throat> uh, hello. My name is Fernando. I'm the gym leader of Cerro's Village. I'm sort of new at this. Go easy on me, okay? All right, bring it on. You look like the Pokemon Mart guy. You're like a typical teenager. I mean, not a teenager, but like kids you meet on Xbox. I don't even have an Xbox. I don't know how you know that. Bubble Beam! <laughs> wow, Togepi's actually really bulky. Can you not yawn a Pokemon that's already yawning? Contagious. It's freaking contagious. Why is Barrel in the front? I could easily kill this guy with Garp. Give me my... Oh, shoot. Well, looks like you're taking a quick nap. Have fun, Bubble Beamer. Stop. Defense curl. Great, great, great. Now, roll out. Okay, we're totally gonna do this. Watch this. No hands, roll out. Alright, I need to speed up. Wow! Okay, it was a crit. No! Why? I don't hurt naughties. It's the rule to life. Okay, barrel. Okay, barrel, barrel, just just fire. Put right right on the, the swirl. Come on. Yes! See, barrels have no emotions. You're gonna die now. Look at that. Who uses a potion? You're the first gym leader. You're supposed to have super potions. 
Level 15! What you doing, Barrel? Ralts. Okay, well, I could easily kill everyone here. It's a freaking Shusi. Imagine if you gave Ralts poison point. That's totally a poison point. He just goes on the chest after. Don't ask why. That's not the question. Jigglypuff? Are you serious? You're definitely new at this. Give me the roll. It's a creepy Jigglypuff. Death. Death to you. I guess I am a little over leveled, but I completely forgot that I don't forget anything. I just assumed that I was at the right level. Wah! This doesn't count. I'm not giving you my badge. Is this another Whitney? Don't do this. I don't want to give you my badge. You can't make me. It is another Whitney. I'm going to come through the real way. Are you serious? Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to do. It's like a sandbox. Why are you playing in a sandbox, dude? Whoa, what did you say to Fernando? He stormed out of here and threw his Pokeballs at me. <laughs> what the hell, Fernando? Why'd you do such a thing? You there? I'm the daycare man. Call me Pervy Sage. I'm sorry to bother you, but are you the trainer who just defeated my grandson? He seems to be in quite the state. These days, he's been quite emotional, and I think your victory over him pushed him over the edge. He's run off to Wisp Forest, but he didn't have any Pokeballs on him. I hate to ask this of you, but Fernando may be in danger. Could you be so kind and help? See, this is not even Whitney level. Wisp Forest is to the west of Cerro's village. Just follow Cerro's path. You can't miss it. Thank you. This is Claire level. This is when Lance has to come and slap her. Oh, I thought you were going to pop up in the cutscene too. Pigmen have similar habitats as Dales can breed. That's great. That's why T-Tar can breed with even legendaries. That is not true. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to go slap Claire. I mean, his, it's Fernando. We're going to find out what gel he uses and use it ourselves. You know, it's cool that we don't play as red anymore. Look at this. We're like... You know, it almost looks like a prequel to the character you play as in black and white, doesn't it? But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. Be sure to leave a like if you... Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And actually, let me know your thoughts on the whole Regigigas thing with earthquakes and ancient relics for these guardians and all that being scattered across the world. And what you think about the tablets. Like, what happens when you bring a Pokemon to its tablet. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Teach me how to tie a bun. Teach me how to comb my hat.